Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and I've been playing through the Commandos from Triton Noir, and uh, just thought I'd do a quick um, gameplay uh, brief. Uh, got a turn, got a uh, scenario going on. I'm just playing a uh, the one scenario, the one terrain scenario, um, green, where you're working through uh, the barracks, the barracks terrain, which is right here. So that's laid out, and you can see how it's supposed to be laid out right there. Just gives you all the details, and uh, there's the backstory, and then basically we're supposed to pick up uh, three documents right there, and uh, they're placed on those locations. So this is about several turns in already um, by... Uh, Commandos are all still alive and doing well right now. Uh, they came in on this tile here. And uh, uh, one of the uh, objects, the uh, documents are recommended, uh, represented by this triangle token. And uh, there's one left. Um, my um, scout, who is uh, this guy right here, he has the ability to uh, sneak his way through walls so he's essentially climbing through the ducts or whatever which has been very helpful because so far these this door and this door have managed to stay shut and he came up here and got one of the plans he came in here and got one of the plans um, and as of right now they are holed up in this little room there are no guards left there we took them all out there's one guard here um, we've taken the guard out here uh, from this tile, and what happened is, um, when they respawned, if they are on a tile that has a, uh, triangle token, they will guard it. So the triangle tokens are these, these objective markers, uh, cleverly the MG nest is triangle shaped, so they will try to take that if they move into this, uh, uh, tile. And uh, the alarm, they'll guard the alarm as well. Um, if they can, but so far, far right now, we've taken them out and kind of had good control. Some uh, some things about uh, the game in general. Um, let's see, let's start with uh, these trucks that you see here. These are entry points. Um, pardon the, uh, the lint, it looks like Starfield, but it's uh, just lint that builds up on this felt tabletop I've made. So these trucks are entry points, so when the guards respawn each turn, you will, uh, all the tiles that are adjacent to the entry point will get a new guard. Um, this is a large tile. It's, it's too small, by, you know, it's two, two by two. Uh, this is a small tile. And then this is a medium tile. It's one by two. So the rules are, in general, um, if you move into a small tile, you're stealthy. If you move into a medium tile, you are you saw you uh, are noisy, and you're you alert them, the guards, which would then cause the alarm to click over. However, with a medium tile, you have the option to instead of using one action point to move in, you can take two action points to move in, and uh, stay stealthy unless there's troops in the area soldier, enemy soldiers and then you have to roll to see if you've been spotted by those soldiers so if he were to move this door was open and he were to move it here stealthily which he's small tile so he's able to if he would move in fine but then what would happen is because there's two guards here you would roll uh, two of these dice and if a uh, one or a two pop up with the eye symbol. That means he's been spotted. He'll flip over to his uh, visible side and the alarm would go off. A map area like this is called a terrain and it functions as a single unit in the game. There are other uh, missions. This is a map terrain card or location card. Uh, there are other missions that we'll use um, 
settle all these. Here we go. So you have the Weapons Depot and Village, and you would have to clear both of these to unlock the underground base. So you would start there. And so what you can do is if you have multiple uh, commandos, there's five included in the base game, uh, you could have, depending on how many you're allowed to have in the mission, you may have two on this one and two running on this one. So you'd set up your table and you'd have these two, two terrains going all at once. So it would be kind of... Uh, kind of chaotic, might, might need a lot of table space, but you can also set up any of these maps and just run them uh, in these terrains and just run them independently. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, as you see here, my my scout has captured two of the documents, as well as a, a new gun and a, a medical kit. The doctor has a medical kit, a couple of medical kits. He had one to start the game, he got another one, and then he's found a uh, He's found another gun as well. Uh, as for combat, for instance, this weapon here has um, a noise, a visibility, and, and an alarm icon. This one does not. So this one can be shot uh, silenced. So the Sten guns here can be shot silenced. This STG-44 cannot be. So if he were to use it, uh, he would make noise, and he would alert the guards, and the alarm would go off. Uh, it does treat the uh, the uh, um, tiles as if they were you know they can be seen from outside the uh, the game. So there doesn't have to be a guard here that can can spot you if you move in there without being cautious and stealthy. You're, it's considered you're spotted like through a window. There's stuff that's going on that you that aren't, that aren't part of the map that it just it, you know it works with it. Um, so then there's the large tile. I talked about the small medium. Large tile, you move into it, you're automatically spotted. There's no way to go through a large one without being spotted, even though that guard wasn't there, because it's assumed it's outdoors as a guard tower somewhere and they're seeing you. So, however, my scout character has the option to use two action points and do a stealthy move to a large tile. So he can still, he can sneak in here and, uh, and take care of uh, take care of business if he needs to. Now, so combined, and this is going to be my plan here, is he can move through a wall. This is still a wall. All the all the inside tiles um, are walled on all four sides unless you put these openings. And so this is a passage. And it's just an opening, and then these are doors. Um, you can open doors silently. You can shoot at them. So you can shoot them with a stun gun and open them. Um, he can use a crowbar to take it out and open it, and then he basically would just flip it and it would be open. Guards are free to move in and out at will, and they have the keys they can move around, so they'll go through doors if they're told to. Um, and what else? We've got a guard that, in the last turn, the guard, then we had an event card that said a guard would spawn uh, here, where the, anywhere there was a open staircase. So, or an open trap door. Uh, this trap door started the, the game open, but there are, they can be closed. So sometimes you'll have one somewhere else on the map. In this case, we don't. But this one started open. And, uh, this one stuck. All right. So that's an overview of that. So large cells automatically get spotted unless you have a special ability that lets you not. The MG Nest um, has its own uh, defense value there. That's the value you have to roll to hit something that's occupying that. You have to roll uh, five or six. Uh, and then these are, uh, you know, the terrain tiles have their own. Uh, the small ones are fours, uh, so mediums are threes, and the large ones are twos. So it's easier to hit something on the open. Here there's more obstacles to uh, get out of the way. So uh, the terrain tiles that come in the game are double-sided. So you got an inside, you got an outside. And uh, you'll notice these uh, little circles on it. That's the maximum occupancy in the room. So when a guard moves in, he takes up a circle. When your commandos move in, they take up a circle. And uh, this is like this one can only four, hold four units. Anything that's supposed to move through here would be stuck. And if, the, if this was all guards, you wouldn't be able to go through it without taking somebody out. Uh, let's see what else we got going here. Before I do the turn, I think that's it. I think I can can start. 
I hopefully have a strategy to get that, and we will see. So the first part of the turn is to draw an event card. And this is, it's got a little glare there, but this is the event card from last turn. And it says, they got us surrounded during the enemy reinforcement step. Uh, randomly draw and place one enemy unit on each tile containing an opened trap door. So that's the title, that's the description. And then when we had the reinforcement step, I did that, and that's what this guy got here. And then came the movement phase. And what's cool about this is you know this is drawn at the beginning. And movement is the, uh, is, so you have uh, the event phase, and then you have the commandos phase, and then you have the enemy phase. So you know what's coming up in the enemy phase is divided into three parts. You have reinforcement, you have movement, and then you have shooting if there's any targets for them. So in this case, when this was drawn at the beginning, I knew that all the guards were going to move east. So it gives you a little ability uh, to plan your turn. There are some cards I'm going to go, I'm not going to get through all this whole deck. So I'm going to go to the bottom here without peeking at what I'm going to be getting. There are some that I have, there it is, I have a question mark. So when you draw that, you do your event, but then you don't know what's going to happen. So when it comes time for the guards to move, then you draw another card. You ignore the event part that you keep drawing until you get a direction, and that's the way they're going to move. So you uh, you kind of get uh, most of the time you know, so you can mitigate mitigate what they're doing, and then other times you don't. So anyway, so we're going to draw the event card and start this turn and see where we get. Um, so. I showed you that this guy moved east, right? So then this guy spawned. But because of the rule, it says he, his first priority is to occupy that. He occupied that. Um, these guys spawned. And then they moved east. Well, there's nowhere to go east, so they just stay still. Since, since we haven't been spotted yet, they're just kind of milling around. And the same thing here. This guy came in here. There's already another guard here. Just to move east. There's nothing going on. So, uh... Uh, that's what that's again where we stand right now as play resumes. We're gonna draw our card. Yeah, we got it. During this tile, treat all outdoor tiles as if they were small tiles. That's cool. Next turn, any commando except for a scout on a large tile without a German uniform will be visible. So one thing that happens, should you these uh, we picked up some some gear. Uh, when you shoot a guard. It only takes one hit to kill him. So you're actually, you, you target a tile. We'll probably see that in a minute. So you shoot into the tile. You get two hits because the stun gun allows you to roll two dice. So you get two hits, you take out both guards, right? Well, you can't shoot here because the door's not open, but you get what I mean. And uh, so then what happens is um, when, you take the, uh, when you take the token off, you replace it with uh, an object from the, uh, the, option, the object supply. And go off the and there's a shotgun the bottom one. So we've got these uh, grenades that obviously get thrown in. We'll set off the alarm. Anything with that will set off the alarm. You have these eye tokens, <clears throat> which are kind of interesting because what these mean is it drops there. So let's say in combat, I shot this guy and killed this guy and didn't get this guy. And then I dropped, he, we drew and got the the spotting uh, token. What that means is um, <clears throat> if there's any uh, other unit, enemy unit on the tile, they saw him drop. They're alarmed now. They saw who shot and he's not visible and the alarm goes off. If the alarm goes off, you can, meet, you can try to hide again by moving somewhere. You cannot just hide in place. You would have to move into somewhere else. Um, to go hidden, and then if you can get a commando onto that tile, then for a zero point action, you can flip that back over one time. Actually, you don't even flip it back over, you just remove it, and uh, there's no alarm. Um, alarms also hurt you because these trucks, uh, when the alarm goes off, you flip them because the alarm's going off, they're in yellow now, and that means they spawn two soldiers. That's definitely been a lot of detail put into this 
into this game. Um, so here you go, one soldier. It's a reminder that you got two of the alarms going off. Uh, a lot of good thought into this. I've been very impressed as I read the rules and you know, reference things, and I haven't had to reference it too much as the turns have gone on, but uh, um, the uh, designer has covered a lot of um, loopholes and gotchas and things like that, which have been it's been very pleasant to see. Uh, it's a French designer, and sometimes the translation is a little off. Um, for the most part, it was really well done. Uh, we got a uh, we got some plants for the kitchen. This is a, an aside, and it was one of those things where you know it came from an Asian country, and the the, uh, the translated instructions were just hilarious to read. I mean, it was just <clears throat> excuse me, amazingly bad. Um, I can't remember what the one was. Something about plugging it in. If you don't plug it in, you don't get power. There's no power to the. I don't know. It's really, it's a very strange construct how it how it got translated. So, anyway, um, back to these. I'm sorry. There's one more. There's some others in here that are uh, uniforms. And so you uh, you get the what's uh, more? You get the uniform icon. Uh, then you can uh, be in disguise. And each each of the soldiers has a each of the commandos has a different uh, even token that shows them. When they're in disguise, so that's pretty cool. Um, so far, we've taken no hits. We've not even been spotted yet. We managed to to move pretty stealthy, and this is an easy map. And I say that because there's lots of small tiles. Every time you move into a small tile, you're you're not uh, you're not spotted. So you we had to get through this this one medium one, and uh, just took the time to go slowly. We're able to get in there, uh, and you see, there's no spawning that comes near here, so you're able to do that. So anyway, so then we also know, like I said, I think that the guys will move north. So we can move into the outdoor tiles, all outdoor tiles, as if they were small. So if it was a large indoor tile, that wouldn't count, but so we can get into this as if it were small, which means we would stay covered, which is actually kind of helpful, except that my goal is to try and get out. So I think my strategy is gonna be to have the scout cut through this wall and try to get this and take him out. And then the good thing is he's able to cut through a wall this way and then have the medic and the officer come this way and try to take this guy out. And that's my plan. We're going to see if it works. So I'll show you how it plays and uh, uh, get that right up. Okay, so we're about to take our move. Um, i got to figure out who I want to go first because I don't want to set off the alarm if I don't have to. So uh, another cool thing is uh, you get three actions uh, per turn and you can reserve actions if you want to. Each character has on their card this plus one circle. There's just one, I believe, that has, a, has two of them. It's the uh, sapper. So he has two plus one, so he can save two turns if he wants to, <clears throat> or two actions. These guys all have one, so it does give you that luxury. So first thing I wanna do is, I guess I will take my officer, which is this guy here, and I have three action points, and the officer uh, to move, a general move is to move onto a medium tile stealthily, is two action points. So he will move on here. And if you're in the room, uh, you could you, being anywhere only any of these squares is the same. There's no there's no advantage to anything. There's no movement within the room. You're just in or out. So this tile, <clears throat> because this is open, is considered adjacent to this tile. Okay, it's adjacent to this tile um, for the purposes of line of sight. Um, you have to be adjacent to a tile. So this tile is not adjacent to this because there's a wall. Uh, this tile is adjacent to this one, but not to this one. And then things that happen on small tiles don't affect non-small tiles. So just because uh, if there were a, a soldier here looking into this tile, they can't see each other even though it looks open because there's enough, it's considered enough terrain in here to block you because it's a small tile. 
He has now successfully moved in here. He has one action point left. He is going to use that to <clears throat> make an attack into this tile. So, look at our stem down here. And it has two squares. That means it attacks with two dice. And this soldier is in a uh, small room, which is a four plus to hit. So I need uh, every every die roll of four plus is going to hit in that room. Let's so use our we'll use the dice tower here. All right, and we got twos. We got two twos. So that means no hit, and he's done. They stayed stealthy because the the uh, the stun gun uh, had no uh, noise it's suppressed. So he's still fine. He just, you know, whispered a couple bullets at him. So one thing I do is I go ahead and put a marker on him, which means I know I'm done with him. There's nothing included in the game. There's no way to flip it until that you're done. So I just do that. So now we're going to use my doctor. <clears throat> and he's going to try to do the same thing and try to take this guard out. Because let's see what's going to happen with the guards. So he's not going to, next turn, he's not going to move at all. So he doesn't see him. These two guards are going to move. Uh, you start uh, in the direction where they're heading. So you, if, if they're moving north, you start at the north and move your way down. And you know it's the direction you set it up at the beginning of the game. So you move down. So these, so we know that these two guards are going to move north. These two guards are going to move north. And... Plus the guards that move into here. So one's going to spawn here, maybe. One will spawn here, maybe they'll move up. This guy's going to move into here, and he's not going to move anywhere because there's no north. So uh, if I do take this guard out, then this guy that comes in here will, will occupy that space. So this should be <clears throat> this should be interesting. But the good news is I don't have to. When I use him, I will not have to use two action points to move Stealthy on here because he just gets the ability to move uh, Stealthy into an outdoor tile. So then he can go through the wall. He's basically like climbing over the wall or out a window or something like that. So, All right, but first thing first, we're going to get the doctor. We're going to move him in. And he's going to come into this room with two action points so he stays Stealthy. And it doesn't, like, again, it doesn't matter where you put him. And or how they face or anything like that. It's just for fun. So there he is. All right, that's two of his three. And now he's going to attack. And he also has a stun gun. So he's going to attack with two dice. Let's see what we get here. Three fours. We got two twos again. Well, that was not good news. So that was his... Attack. His turn is done. That guy's still there. Fortunately, he's not going to move. Unless these guys are not, not visible. All right. So let's see what we can do. And this is actually... This is actually good news. Because I think I can do both things I want to do here. So he is going to... On action point, stealthily move onto the tile. So he is still hidden because of because of our event card. And then there's always one action point. Second action point is he's going to kill him, keep him dead in close combat. So he's gonna go back into the reserve, and then these are all the soldiers that are left to possibly come out. So we took him out, so now we gotta draw. Equipment shit, whatever fell. And put that down. All right, it's a crowbar. And he has no room to grab another crowbar. One cool thing about the crowbar you can do with it, it's got a blue side, which is your equipment side, which you can use to open doors and things. It's got a red side. So one thing you can do is, if you're in this room that has a uh, spawn point, then the... Uh, you can use the crowbar to block that door. And what happens then is as you draw reinforcements, they're stuck outside the door. So 
you can start building up out here uh, up to four points, up to uh, four units, uh, unless you pulled one of the units that has a uh, sledgehammer or some. See, they got one on the. I don't have any on the board right now, but there are some units that have a sledgehammer, and they count as two because they're beating on the door with the sledgehammer. So, um, and of course, if the alarm's going off, then you're going to draw two, so you're going to get that four really quick. But you can you can kind of stop the flow of uh, incoming guards. So he did that. So it was two. So it was one into here. Is one. Second action was a close combat to take that guard out. Now for free. Per the, per the uh, scenario instructions, it is zero action on each of the uh, markers, and he gets three. He picks up the document, so he is going to take for free the third document. So we have all three of them, and now he's got to get out of here. So he's still got one point left. So we have this guard supposed to move north. So we're actually in pretty good shape right now, I think. So we're going to take him. He's going to sneak through the wall. Still be stealthy. Yeah, because for one action point, he can move onto a medium tall stealthy anyway. So he's there. And now his turn is done. So right now, we've got all three of our guys here. We've got all the documents. Now, all we've got to do is get out of here via the exit. We've got a guard standing in our way. So we'll do our reinforcements phase right now. And I always like to start kind of at the top here and go clockwise. So I'll go and we'll just draw them randomly. Okay, and this guy, we got a guy, got a soldier. Now, <clears throat> the basic soldiers have a, a lighter guy uh, with a one attack and then a stronger guy with a two attack. And you're supposed to randomly determine. Uh, Book is where so we'll just say uh, one, two, three is side one, and one. Two. Okay, so he gets side one, and it's not always side one that's uh, it's not always side one that's um, the one. Sometimes there's side ones that are twos, okay, but you can always feel the rounded side is the front side. So, so he's come in, and there's nothing for him to guard. There's a triangle token in here, so we'll just throw one of those spaces, which obviously this can hold a lot. But then they're attacking with the same rules. So they, if you're in there, they would attack you with a two. All right, so he drew. And now we go around to this, this group here. And one. Okay, now this one is a no go, no, uh, no uh, enemy token. So what you do is you put that in play for now to show that you drew it. And we'll come back to that. So then this one we draw. And we got oh another no enemy token. Alright, well it's gonna be interesting. But we'll put that down as well. Alright, so now that's over. So once the reinforcement phase is over, then what you do is you take the no enemy all the no enemy tokens off the board. And you permanently take them out of the game. You don't want them anymore. And then you've got a reserve here. Of these elite guards that have three attack. So for each one you take and you put it into the cup. And then they go. So they're now added to the to the draw pool. Now it's the movement phase. And again you start at the northernmost part. Work your way down so he cannot move north. The reason you do that is because if the room fills up, you you could say, ah, the room filled up so he can't go in and then you know manipulate it. So you just do it in order. All right, so he doesn't move because he's supposed to move north. These guys are going to move. They're supposed to move north, so they're going to move here. As far as I know, nothing's going on. Right? So he moves there. And then he comes here. And he moves north. To there. And he moves north. To there. So that is the enemy reinforcement phase. Now it would be the enemy combat phase, attack phase. Uh, and all of them would shoot at the tile with visible uh, commandos. But we're not visible. We're still invisible. But we've been stealthy so far. So we're going to take those markers off. Check for uh, winning condition, which 
uh, some of the some of the scenarios may be limited by turns and the number of turns you can take. So uh, in this case, there's not. So we have not escaped yet. So we have not, do not have victory and we do not have defeat. So we will go ahead and go to the next turn and we will try to play it out quick because it looks like it's we're in pretty good shape right now, I think. If we can shoot him and make it there, I think we're going to be all right. So let's see what our options are. We will draw the end card for the next turn. And we have Eastern Front. At the end of the turn, if all commandos are stealthy, place up to three regular enemy units in their reserve. In I have no idea what that means. At the end of the turn, if all commandos are stealthy, place up to three regular enemy units that are not protecting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it now. So what's going to happen is at the end of this turn, then we get to pull these guys. They got called to the Eastern Front. So we'll be able to uh, take these guys off the board, as long as they're not uh, protecting a token, which right now there are only two triangles left on the board of these two, and they're not there yet. Uh, and then we've also found that they're moving north. So that's good news, because this guy, anybody on this tile won't move, and on that tile can't move north. People on this tile will move north, and that'll fill up that section. And then this guy, again, can't move north, but I think he's about to, hopefully, hopefully they're not going to have bad die rolls again. All right, so that's good to know. And so next turn, any commando except for stealth on a large tile. And we're not on a large tile, so we don't have to do anything. So I, I like to put that up against my draw cup. So I mean, there's something special I gotta do. All right, so we're back to our turn. I guess we will um, try to how to do this attack. I guess we'll just we'll just start here. Can't, if I have to kill him, he's going to use an attack. He's only have two left to get to there, and I don't know if that's a one action or zero action, so we'll see. All right, so we'll start with the medic. This time we'll let him shoot. Uh, again, he's got the stem. It's a two-die attack. Lay fours. All right, so we got a six and a three. So there we go. So that was one hit, and again, he's attacking the tile. So there's two hits on the or one hit on the tile. So we'll apply that one hit. Yes, back in the draw cup. And then we'll draw our uh, resolution. And we got the eye. And what that means is, uh, again, like I showed you, he's, <clears throat> if there were now another uh, enemy soldier here, you would see what happened, but there is none, so this just fits permanently removed from the game. All right, so that was the medic's one action. So he is still stealthy, and the guard came out. So now he's going to move here, one, here, two, and the rules here. We're using a trap door. I'm not sure that's movement. Sure, that's just straight up movement. We'll see. With zero, it's very good. Not, we'll just have to wait another turn. That's kind of a foregone conclusion now. Let's see. Uh, exiting through a trap door, one action. So, Doc is going to wait here for a little bit. However, uh, so we'll take the officer and we'll go. One, still stealthy. Two, still stealthy. Three, he is out. He is off the board. Right there. And this is normally where you would end this turn off the board and then could reappear on another terrain if you had multiple terrains set up. So we'll take him out. And he is also left. Scott is left. So we got the documents out. And technically, I believe we've won it's three documents and leave the terrain. I'm not sure if this means all of us have to leave the terrain or if uh, just one of the commandos has to leave the terrain. But 
like I said, this is basically a foregone conclusion now because there's nobody that's going to get to him, nobody's going to see him. Uh, so we can go through this process of moving people around, but it really wouldn't matter. Um, and that is essentially how you play uh, V Commandos. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I like it. I, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of missions that come with the game. Um, they tell you about how long each mission should take. Uh, so there's a time pencil, you get a, you get a background card, um, you get special special rules about the uh, each of the terrains that you're going to use. And then so this one tells you this one should take you two and a half hours to play. So um, this is this, this single mission is pretty much the shortest one. And I think as you learn the rules, uh, this, this one claims that it will take you uh, 45 minutes, I think. I think as you know the rules, oh, the artwork is really nice too. That's really cool. That, what happened, this, is, this gets turned over when you complete this terrain. Like in a multi-terrain game, you turn this over to show that it's been, it's been complete. <clears throat> Tells you it's 45 minutes and you can use three commandos for the mission so that's for the mission and then this map says you can have up to four so this means for the mission you can use three the map could be used in any combination of scenarios you can also just pick one of these and play it uh just for fun so anyway uh bantered here long enough at this late hour but uh just a lot of y'all were asking for how this played and this is how it played and i'll call this mission a success and on to another. Thanks for watching.